Okay, fifth graders, we're starting uh, eleven dash three, and if you uh, if you enjoyed eleven one and eleven two, uh, you're really gonna like eleven three because we're we're just getting deeper into figuring out volumes of rectangular prisms, and it's really kind of cool. I enjoy it. I hope you guys do too. Um, and just remember, when you're figuring out the volume, volume uh, is length times width times height. And if you can remember that, um, you're going to be ahead of the game. All right. So uh, let's look at the first example here. Uh, they're putting in 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 this section. They're putting two prisms together, and you can see this one here. Um, it says the shape and size of a storage building are shown in the figure. It says the building supervisor wants to find the volume to determine how much storage space he has available. What's the volume of a building that would have you know that shape? And so what you need to do when you're given two shapes like this is to divide them. Um, well, it's actually one shape, but to divide them into two prisms. And look what they did here in, in uh, box B. Um, you can see the, the dividing line that they did. It's right here. Um, they made this top portion here a separate prism. And they figured out the volume of A. Then they figured out the volume of B right down here. And then all you have to do is what? Add them up. Which is what they did here in box C. The volume of prism A, length times width times height. And so what are we talking about here? We're talking about um, this length here, 9 meters and then four meters and five meters and uh, they got 180 and then they did, they did the same thing for um, uh, prism B going across here it's 10 meters going down the side here it's nine and the height was seven and then for that they got 630 well then what do you do then you just add the two of them up 810 so it's 810 cubic meters. So that's all you have to do is to uh, take that particular shape and turn it into two prisms, figuring out the volume of each one, and then um, add them up. So to convince me here, it says, uh, what's another way to, to divide the solid figure above into two rectangular prisms? Well, um, let me cut this out here and we'll just kind of move it over take a, a little better look at it copy and I'll just drag it over here make it a little bit larger so you guys can see clearly so the way they did it um, in the example um, they divided it right here and this was a and this was B B was obviously much larger well another way to do it um, whoops oh I wish I hadn't done that went one too many Got to cut it out again and move it. Let me do that. Um, another way to do it is instead of going this way would be to go down from here to here. And so um, this prism A and this would be B, A is now quite a bit larger. Um, so it's got a height of 12 meters, and then a depth of 9, and then it goes across here at 4. And so what are the, what are the questions they're asking here in the Convince Me? What is another way to divide the solid figure above in the two rectangular prisms? What are the dimensions of each prism? Okay, so A, I just gave it to you, whoops. A would be 12 meters by nine meters by four, okay? B would equal, uh, well, I'll let you figure out what B would be. There's my first question for the um, um, class craft. I wanna know what B would be. Okay, let's move down a little bit further here. We're looking at the guided practice. 
Um, in one and two, use the solid figure below. The dashed lines separated into two rectangular prisms. You can see them here, A and B. Okay, what are the length and width and height of prism A? What's the length and width of height of prism B? Well, I'll do A. A equals, let's take a look. So A, the, um, the height looks like it's 12. 12 by, and the depth, um, I'd say three. And the width would be four. B, I'll let you figure out B. Um, let's see here. And what is another way you could separate the shape of the two rectangular prisms? What are each prism's dimensions? Well, let's take a look at this for a moment. I'm gonna cut it out again and make it a little bit larger so it's really clear to you guys. At least those that might have a hard time visualizing this stuff. Let me just put it over here and expand this. So let's take a look at this for a moment. So you can see how they separated it here. Um, another way to do that um, let me see, I think I can erase that. I just gotta make my eraser smaller. Um, fine. Just kind of erase those lines right there. Of course, I have a white line there now, but that's okay. Of course, I could probably fill it in with a, I don't think I have anything that really that color. Well, that kind of works. Okay. So another way to divide it um, would maybe go this way. So B, I'll outline B in red. Whoops, that's not red. Come on, there we go. So B would be there, to there, to there, there, and, um, oh, no, not that one actually, here. And then just a little bit that way, we can't see what's behind. That would be B. And so what are they asking in, in two over here? They're asking what would be uh, each prism's dimensions? Well, um, I'll put A, whoops. I'll do A. And here's B. Let me do B with you. So B looks like from here to here would be six or six feet, six feet. And then uh, the depth looks like it's going to be three feet. So six by three by, and then we need to figure out the height. Height looks like it's five. Three by six by five. That would be B. So you figure out what A would be. Um, let me see here. Let me outline A if you're still having a hard time picturing this. So A would be just from here to here, here to here, and that would be the height. I can just go ahead and just do the rest. That would be A. So let me point out something to you that some of you may have a hard time seeing. If this line right here is four feet, well, that means this one would be four feet. And if that one's four feet, that means this right here would be four feet. Let me also point out that um, if this right here is three feet, well then this line right here would be three feet. And this line right here would be three feet. And let me point out, finally, um, if, uh, if this line right here is 12 feet, well then this line right here would be 12 feet. And this one right here would be 12 feet. 
So hopefully that helps some of you that may be struggling. I can remember last year, I had two or three students that really had a hard time picturing, you know, the things they couldn't see. So, um, anyways, um, in three and four, find the volume of each solid figure. Well, it if you do it correctly, let me let me show you something here. Let's look at. Um, let's look at uh let's look at both of them let's look at three for a moment i'm not going to do them for you i just want to show you a couple things um three you could um divide it this way right there so this could be a and this could be b okay that's one way to divide it another way to divide it would be maybe going like this this could be A, and then this here could be B. And what I want to point out to you is that it doesn't matter where you divide it. Um, if, if you look at it correctly, the volume will be the same no matter where you divide it. All right. So um, let's look at number four here. Number four, I think really there's there's really the, the best way to divide it would be probably right here. And so this bottom base, this could be A and this could be B. I mean, there is another way you could you could look at it, but I think it would be more, more complicated. Um, and that would be, well, let me see here. Yeah, I mean, you'd almost be divided it into three pieces. So um, this could be A, this could be, this little piece would be B, and this little one could be C. I mean, you could do it that way. And again, you know, if you're looking at the entire model correctly, um, and, you know, visual, visualizing the sides that you can't see, um, the total volume will be correct. All right, um, let's move down a little bit here. How are we doing on time? We've got 12 minutes in. Um, yeah, so uh, find the volume of each of the solid figures. Well, um, let's, look at, let's look at seven for a moment. Um, seven, you could just kind of extend this line here. That's one way to divide it. So this, this piece here, that could be one or, you know, A. And then this larger piece in the back, this one here, that could be, you know, B. Um, but I think, I think you guys understand how to do these now. Length times width times height. Um, I'm looking at five here. Five, I think probably the most sensible way would be just to extend this line here. And so, um, give these a shot, you guys. Let's, uh, I'll, I'll ask, I'll call out, um, let me see here, what's the last one I did? I did the convince me. Okay, that was the first question. And uh, let's make this one the second one, number six. Whoops, undo, and let me take it off that. So number six, number six and number seven. So those will be the three that I'll be asking about in particular. Um, I might randomly pick another one, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. So um, yeah, and then the problem solving page. How would you find the volume of the figure below? I think you guys know how to do that. Um, let's look at 11 for a moment here. A solid figure is separated into two rectangular prisms. Okay, so we've been doing that. Nothing hard there. Um, and then it says the volume of rectangular prism A, and I'm going to put this down here. A, the volume equals um, 80 CU feet, cubic feet. 
And then for B, what information are they giving us here? B, it says it has a length of six feet and a width of five feet. So I'm just gonna put down six times five. Okay, and then, and then we don't know what the third one is, all right? Um, and then it says the total volume of the solid figure. So I'll go right here, I'm gonna say A plus B equals, and they're telling us it's 200 CU feet. Let's look at that for a moment. So if the total of A and B is 200, what would be the volume of, and they give us the volume, they give us the volume of, of A, A is 80. We don't know the volume of B, but we know the total volume of A and B, and that's 200. How would you figure out B? Think about that for a moment. Pause the video. Maybe ask your mom or dad or your grandpa or your aunt or uncle or your older brother or sister. How would you figure out what B is? Because we're missing, we're missing a dimension right here. We don't have that. But if we have volume A, and that's 80, and A plus B equals 200 cubic feet, what would B be? Well, um, hopefully you paused the video and really thought about it. It would be 200 minus 80. So B um, equals 120 CU feet. Now, now that we have the total, 120 cubic feet, we can figure out the missing one. Well, what's six times five? Six times five is 30. So what times 30 equals 120? And the answer is four. So what is the height of rectangular prism B? So that's the what we're talking about here is this question mark. So the height is four feet, okay? And show your work. Well, I kind of did it there for you guys. So there you go. Answer number 11 for you. 11, 11 was complicated. Um, I don't know if any of you were able to figure it out as, as we went along, but uh, there you go. Um, and then 13, you guys can do. Um, okay, that's it, you guys. I will see you uh, tomorrow.